Hi, I'm Betsy Sturdivant, Principal Bassoon Player of the Columbus Symphony. I'm going to talk a little bit about our program for Masterworks 9. First on the program is the Elgar Serenade for Strings, Opus 20. Edward Elgar was England's best known romantic composer. He wrote this work in 1892, so it was one of his earlier works. He was an accomplished violinist, so he was quite comfortable writing for the string instruments. Throughout his career, whenever Elgar was asked which of his compositions was his favorite, he always named the Serenade for Strings. Next on the program is the Haydn Sinfonia Concertante. A Sinfonia Concertante is a concerto written for more than one solo instrument. In this case, violin, cello, oboe, and bassoon. So that means I'm going to get to be one of the four soloists. Haydn, who was known as the father of the symphony, and he was also known as the father of the string quartet, wrote this work in 1792 at the urging of his friend in London, who warned him that Haydn's former pupil, Pleyel, had been writing Sinfonia Concertants in London, and the audience was just going crazy over these works. So Haydn went to London and wrote this Sinfonia Concertant as his response to that rivalry, which he didn't really want any part of. And I think you'll all agree that it's a real winner. This is a little snippet from the opening of the third movement. <laughs> The last work on our program is the Brahms Variations on a Theme by Joseph Haydn. This work was written in 1873 by the very well-known German Romantic composer Johannes Brahms. He based his theme for this work on a field partita written by Franz Joseph Haydn. The second movement of that field partita featured the St. Anthony Chorale. And this ended up being the basis for one of the most famous works ever written for orchestra. I'm going to play a little bit of that theme for you right now on the bassoon. <laughs> 